Joe, I want to escape your attention that there is a lot of talk at the moment about yourself and Manchester United. Now, the former technical director of Southampton, Les Reed. Thomas, sorry. We've gone over Manchester no, United and the manager before. That's, is, I, anything to do with Manchester United. We've had 48 hours ago the same conversations. I'm not prepared. The manager's answered. <clears throat> I'm not prepared to have another press conference dominated by this. It's not being dominated by I have to ask the question. Well, you, your man was here on Tuesday and asked the same questions. So I'm not prepared to have it again. So I'd ask you to move on. With, with respect, everybody is talking about this. Okay, and with respect, Everyone's I'd say move it on because I'll be invite you here to preview a football match. Of course, and you're, you're coming in and you're asking our manager about another job. It works both ways, though. There are other occasions where you say, I'm sorry. Let's not talk about the football match because you want to get something else out. It works both ways. No. Surely. No. Move it on, please. So I've taken a full look at all the Zinedine Zidane to Manchester United rumours. I've taken a full look at the Eric Ten Hag to Manchester United rumours and Brendan Rodgers, too. Today, though, it's all about Maurizio Pochettino. No, it's not 2018. This is 2021. Poch is back on United's radar following the sacking of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. What I'm going to do in this video for you is run through all the reports from all the sources. BBC, Telegraph, Sky Sports, The Independent, everything. Go back to 2018, see what the story was then. Take a look at how happy Poch is at PSG. Is there a chance he could leave during the season? Then we'll have a quick conversation and I'll give you my opinion on Poch to Man United. It's going to be a jam-packed video full of information to make sure that you know everything that's going on with Poch. If by the end of it you do enjoy the video and it's helped you, drop a like on it please if you would and consider subscribing. But let's talk about Poch to Manchester United. And there's only one place we can really start with this and that is by going back to 2018. As I said, this is when the stories were first there. This is by Jason Burt and Matt Law. We know what it was like at the time. It was all about Poch and Manchester United and the fact that we really, really wanted him. Here saying that Manchester United are willing to pay a record fee for Pochettino in terms of the compensation package that we were going to go give to Spurs. Poch was the man. And of course, at that point, it was only going to Solskjaer who came and got the job instead. So the Poch rumours, they didn't lead to anything. But the Poch rumours are back and they are back with a bang, I tell you that. It's Sky Sports leading with the story yesterday saying that Manchester United want Poch and that Pochettino would be interested in the Manchester United job. We head and we look in a bit more detail at the article saying Mauricio Pochettino is Manchester United's first choice to take over as the club's manager next summer. United sacked Solskjaer goes on to say that Poch will have one year left on his contract and Gary Neville had his say on the situation. He said, I think Pochettino, although he'd never say it, would leave to come to Manchester United tomorrow on a five-year deal if it was offered to him. So what do you think about that? Do you think Gary Neville's right? Do you think that Poch would come? But the stories with Poch, as I said, this is a very rapidly developing story. It all started back in 2018 when all of us really thought that it was going to be Poch that came in. Solskjaer did so well in that three-month period, he was given the job on a full-time basis. And now we find ourselves in a situation again where Poch is being linked to the job. We head over to the Telegraph again, saying Poch is open to joining Manchester United, but they say next summer, saying that Manchester United are looking to bring in an interim appointment before the end of the season, and that Poch would be someone who would come in during the summer instead of coming in during the season. Now, what's your take on that? I think that's the big debate, really, about Poch at the moment. Would Poch leave PSG during the season? I'm going to give a little bit of insight into the situation that's going on over there in France with PSG as we continue through this full story look at all the, all the stories from all the angles with Poch. And we head over now and we go to The Independent, which have just published this, saying that Pochettino is ready to leave PSG for Manchester United before the summer. United have twice botched the opportunity to hire Pochettino. The Independent understands that he does not want that to be botched for a third time by waiting. So they're saying that Pochettino wants that job. He wants to leave PSG now and come to Manchester United to make sure that it's not botched because Solskjaer has obviously left. Manchester United are in a position now where it's an interim job. Michael Carrick is in charge and Michael Carrick will be giving his first press conference as Manchester United's interim manager probably before this video goes out. But Manchester United... We botched it with... Did we botch it with Pochettino before? I don't know whether that's a fair way to describe it. We just decided to go away from Pochettino. And we decided to go for Solskjaer. Now, for maybe a lot of people, that was a botch. 
but let's continue going through this full story. As I said, it's it's a rapidly emerging and developing story that's coming from multiple sources at once. And as of somebody who's been inside this space for a long time, it's when these stories start to develop and they come from the likes of Jason Burt, they come from the likes of uh, James Ducker from The Telegraph, of Simon Stone from the BBC. That's when you start listening and we head over to the BBC now and we can see here that Mauricio Pochettino is open to leaving PSG if Manchester United make an approach. This is from Simon Stone saying that Pochettino is open to becoming Manchester United's next manager and it's not out of the question they could get the PSG boss now. So Simon Stone reiterating there what the Independent was saying that Pochettino would be happy to join Manchester United right now if we went and we tried to sign him. Now, what's your opinion on that? Do you think that Manchester United could and should go after Poch right now if we want him? I'm going to give my opinion on that in a little bit because I still want to continue going through this full story. As I said, so the reports are coming from multiple angles, multiple reputable sources. It's it's very different to the Zinedine Zidane stories, for example. Zinedine Zidane at this particular stage has gone no further than speculation. Poch has already gone further than Zidane has so far. And this is just in the space of 24, 48 hours since Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has been sacked. So they're all the stories that are coming out. But the real question we have to ask, would he leave PSG? Now, if we look in detail at this article from the BBC, that's when we maybe get a bit of insight into what is going on and whether or not he would leave. Let's scroll down and read this together. And this is where it becomes interesting. Uh, his, I, I found this part interesting, actually. Uh, so Poch's family still lives in London. Uh, he lives in Paris and he's still staying out of a hotel, a bit like Mourinho when he stayed in a hotel. Remember that? Um, now, they're speaking about his unhappiness in Paris. And this is where it gets interesting. This is really important to understand this part. Part of Poch's unhappiness in Paris is around the culture of the club. His team includes superstars like Messi, and Mbappe and Neymar, but the squad is unbalanced. Kind of sounds like Manchester United a little bit, really. Um, there is a surplus of left-backs, for example, and there was a feeling that they did not need to sign Gianluigi Donnarumma. Those recruitment decisions are out of Poch's hands since on transfers, he's essentially an advisor to Leonardo. So what the BBC and Simon Stone are saying there is that it's not all, it's not a happy camp out at PSG. I don't think PSG will be particularly over the moon with Pochettino either. Obviously lost the French League last season to Lille, one point on the last day of the season. Right now they're second in their Champions League group behind Man City. And as I keep saying, I've said this morning in my live stream, it's Qatar 2022, next December. And Qatar, PSG is a Qatari-owned club. So this year is the PR year for them. They want that Champions League. That's why they went out. That's why they signed Messi. That's why they got Neymar and Mbappe. They want to win the Champions League. And PSG right now, and they might be 11 points clear in the league, but PSG under Poch, they are not doing it right now in the Champions League. They are second to Manchester City. They'll probably qualify, but can he win the Champions League? Got knocked out in the semi-final last year. There's question marks. There really are question marks about whether or not Poch would leave PSG mid-season. My gut instinct uh, tends to agree with Gary Neville here. I think if Man United went in with an approach straight away for Poch, he would come. No problems, no questions asked. Poch would come to United without really thinking. Manchester United is a club where Poch could come in and have that long-term plan that he wants to have. He could have two, three, by long-term, I'm talking two, three years. That is long-term in football nowadays. Long-term is a couple of years. I know you don't want it to be, but that's just the reality of things. Now, Poch is somebody who I know a lot of you are going to be frustrated at the fact that he hasn't won anything. If we were to go over here and we would take a look at his managerial CV, this is a conversation that a lot of people will say. So Poch here, he's only won one French League Cup and he's won one, basically, Community Shield. So that's absolutely nothing. If you're looking at his, at his career to date, let's go here full screen. Being PSG now 53 games, Spurs nearly 300, Southampton 60, Espanyol. He's managed hundreds of games inside the Premier League, inside the Liga, inside PSG. But he hasn't won anything major. And for a lot of people, that is the reason why they don't think that Pochettino should be considered for the Manchester United job. I think he will be considered. That's what my gut instinct is telling me. And as I said, and I think it's 
it's obvious, right? If Manchester United, right, if we really do want Pochettino, there's, we shouldn't wait at all. We should be going in right now for him, going in strong, going in with a big offer. Look, and I've said this before as well, if we're willing to spend 20 million on sacking Jose Mourinho, if we're willing to spend 8 million on sacking Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, we should be willing to spend a combined 28 million on bringing in the right manager. This next appointment is all about bringing in the right manager for United. For some people, that would be Pochettino. Whether or not you agree with that is going to be a debate we have in the comments. And later this week, I'm going to be doing a video on Ten Hag versus Pochettino, looking and comparing the two managers, and we can have a conversation about who we think the right manager would be. But the full story here on Poch is that he is very much being linked back to Manchester United. As you can see from all the different stories that are coming out, he is high on Manchester United's list, saying that he will be interested in the job. Sky Sports are reporting it. We head over here and we look. The Telegraph are reporting it as well. We look over here and we look at the BBC reporting it as well. All the major outlets are all reporting similar things that Pochettino would be open to leaving PSG for Manchester United. The real question is whether he would do that mid-season. I would be partly I would be a little bit surprised if Poch did it mid-season because you know he's, he's in a team that's uh timeless. I'm not timeless, it's a team that's only going to be there for one year. Like, why would you not want to try and win the Champions League with Messi, with Neymar and Mbappe, with the squad that you've got there? Surely you'd see it through. But at the same time, maybe it'll be taken out of his hands. Maybe PSG won't want to sit there. Maybe they'll go all out and try and sign, sign Zidane. You, I don't know, just speaking hypothetically there. But what's your take and what's your opinion on all these Poch rumours? As I said, Poch clearly is somebody who will be open to leaving PSG if Manchester United came in with that offer. It's whether or not you really feel the fact that he hasn't really won anything substantial major that's going to make you completely rule him out or whether you can look past that and think, you know, he did a great job at Spurs if he was back that year by Levy, Spurs would probably have won the league. He could do a similar thing at Manchester United, has a great track record of bringing through the youth, of sticking to a plan, of going and managing a team and, and improving a team, improving players in that team. There's a lot to like about Poch. Whether you agree with that or not is obviously up to you. But you let me know what you think about Pochettino for a couple of reasons. Number one, do you think there's any chance of Pochettino leaving, leaving PSG? before the end of the season. Number two, do you think Manchester United would go aggressively at PSG and try and buy their manager? Or do you think we would sort of be meek and sit back? Because it, it'll be a big thing for our board to go to PSG and say, we want your manager, here's the money for it. Typically, we don't do bullshit decisions like that, do we? But you let me know what you think about everything to do with Poch and the full story behind it in the comments below. I hope this has helped you understand where the stories are coming from. Why there would be a little bit of credence to the idea that he is a little bit unhappy in PSG in terms of the club structure, but there's no, no reason why he wouldn't be just as unhappy with Manchester United's club structure. Let's be completely honest. But you let me know everything in the comments below. Let me know your opinion on Poch, as always. And if you did enjoy the video, please drop a like and consider subscribing to United People's TV. Until next time, though, take it easy.